Alright, so guys, in today's video, I'm going to cover another easy, easy investment. How to make between 300,000 coins to 500,000 coins a day passively with no risk involved. If you're still interested in making coins in FC24 right now, talk about the market, talk about FC25 leaks, and obviously, in general, how to make a lot of coins. Drop a like, do subscribe, and let's get in the video. Alright, so boys, the content today on a Wednesday, overall nothing special. We have a brand new player, 97 rated from Arsenal. Overall, the card is pretty cheap, but is she going to make your team? Most likely not. And a brand new player pick, 96 plus footies player pick. And I have actually completed one SBC. So let's see if we do actually get lucky live on recording right now. If you did complete this SBC, do let me know down in the comment section down below what player did you get from this specific SBC. 1 of 3, 96 plus. Let's have a look. What do we get? Can I get Ronaldo? We actually get 99 Beckham. Now, that is, I think, a pretty, pretty good player pick. Is he going to make my team? I'm not entirely sure. But overall, Beckham is actually really, really good. If I do actually go on footbin, how expensive is Beckham? Because I'm not really up to date with everyone, everyone's prices as I don't really play the game as much. Beckham is still 2 million coins. So that is definitely a dub. Did you boys get lucky from this player pick? Obviously, do let me know down in the comment section down below. All right, so we've talked about the player pick. We've talked about the content. Let me move forward to the easiest way anyone that watches today's video can make 500k, 300k, 400k, maybe even 1 million coins if you do get enough sales. This method is called lazy listing team of the weeks, team of the season moments, and normal team of the seasons every single hour. Basically, keep relisting these investments. You're going to be asking, why are these cards a good investment today? Reason being, every single Wednesday, what do we get? Have a look in the background right now. If I can find the SBC, 90 plus tradable team of the season upgrade SBC and 81 plus tradable team of the week upgrade SBC. Every single Wednesday, these cards drop in price. And then later on, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, they rebound a little bit. Reason being, you boys know, we do have the 84 times 10 on limited times. What do you need? Team of the week slash team of the season on Saturday. We could even see the 85 times 10 with team of the week slash team of the season requirements on limited times. So these investments, once again, is going to be the easiest coins anyone can be making right now. And a prime example, all you have to do, Literally do what I am doing right now in the background. Try to snipe them around 12,000.5, 12.5, 12,750 is okay. I do think later tonight, you're going to be able to get these open bids 11K, 11.5 really, really easily. For example, you can see I got a team of, this is a moment, open bid 12,500 coins. All you have to do, lazy list between 2.5 to 3,000 coins above what you paid. For example, I paid 12.5. I'm going to lazy list very nice and easy. 2,500 coins to 3,000 coins above what I paid. 14.5 star price, 15K buy now. And obviously, list your cards up on the market. The most effective way to do this is very simple. Have 50 to 100 team of the season moments or team of the weeks or normal team of the seasons selling at the same time. The more cards you do have selling, the more profit you will be making. So you can use a filter like this max price 12,000 coins click search and you're going to see in the background literally pages and pages and pages of open bids 11,250 11.5 11.750 all you have to do is literally throw a bid if you win the card just lazy list 3,000 coins above market price the exact same thing with normal team of the seasons right now if i do actually search the price I think they're between, yeah, 14.5 to 15,000 coins. If later tonight, these drop to around 13, 13.5, 13.750, that is an amazing price and basically the exact same thing. Lazy list, 2.5 to 3,000 coins above what you paid. If you paid 12K, lazy list, 15K. If you paid 14K, lazy list, 16.5 to 17,000 coins and a mass bidding filter. 14 of the seasons, look in the background right now. Quality team of the season, maximum price 13,000 coins. Click search 
And you're gonna get so many open bids, similar with Team of This Season Moments. Like I said, I do actually expect later tonight for the following cards to drop. I'm gonna give you target prices. Normal Team of the Seasons between 12.5 to 13,000 coins, I think. That is the price they will drop to. Team of This Season Moments between 12 to 12.5, I think they're gonna settle around there. And if I do search up Team of the Weeks, how expensive are Team of the Weeks right now? If I do actually search them up, I'm gonna take a guess around 14.5, I think what they are. So around 14K a search, 14,000 coins, there is a lot of pages. So around 13,750 right now is selling instant for Team of the Weeks. Target price between 12 to 12.5 open bids. This is the easiest, not even investment, it's a method to grind coins hourly, just buy them and you lazy list every single hour. And the Team of the Week mass bidding filter is in the background right now. Quality, Team of the Week, max price 12,000 coins and literally sit here and bid and bid and bid. Eventually you're going to get some open bids. You can sell them straight away for profit or you can lazy list. And you can see in the background again, a one, Ruben Neves open bid 11,250, another one 11,250, Smalling 11,250. I can actually sell them right now for profit straight away. But like I said, the point of this method, lazy list your cards. Buy 25 team of the weeks, buy 25 moments, buy 25 team of the season and buy again 25 team of the weeks. List 100 cards every single hour. Three to 4,000 coins above what you paid, you're gonna get decent sales. If you do wanna get more sales, list two to three thousand coins above what you paid you're going to get so many sales you can easily make 300 to 500 coins an hour guaranteed and you can see in the background i am winning team of the weeks literally for minimum price the easiest low risk investment and method right now do this and obviously do let me know down in the comment section down below are you making coins and how many sales are you getting every single Hour. Now I do want to go back to Twitter and talk about some FC25 leaks. I do find it quite interesting. We are already getting FC25 leaks about promos, about car designs, and the game is not even out. So if I go to Twitter and we'll go to Asifoot, he actually leaked some card designs today. So if I do actually scroll down, you're going to see in the background right now, we have official FC25 winter wildcard card design which i do think is a little bit weird the game's not even out the first promo is not even here and we are already getting fc 25 leaks overall the card does look really really nice i'm very 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 excited about that but i do find it a bit strange that the game's not out and somehow the leaks are already happening so again i do find that a little bit weird we have end i think this is end of an era card design end of an era you can see modridge that is just an example but this is the official end of an era card design for FC25. What would you rate this out of 10? Personally, I'm going to give this an 8. I do think it does look very, very good. And if I do scroll down a little bit further, I think there was a flashback card design that Asifoot did indeed tweet. Unless it was FIFA Romania. So let me go to FIFA Trading Romania. It was one more card design that was going around Twitter. And there we go. So we have official flashback card design for fc25 if you boys remember for fc24 we had the Bruyne as the first flashback spc in the first week of the game that is the card in the background which card would you like in the first week of fc25 let me know down in the comment section down below and by the way i actually do think that card design does look very, very good. And boys, honestly, we have talked about everything we need to talk about in today's video. We've talked about how to make coins, lazy list, team of the weeks, moments, and normal team of the seasons hourly. If you're still interested in making coins, maybe you want to make coins and sell your coins and buy FC25 for free. You can 100% still be doing that. We've talked about a few card designs on Twitter, Winter World Cards, End of an Era, and obviously Flashback as well. And boys, I do have a question. If you're still watching the video right now, what kind of content would you like me to put out instead of trading? I know a lot of people do not want to trade in August, I understand. So let me know any suggestions or videos you want to see. Maybe a 0 to Division 1 team, let me know in the comments. Or maybe like a brand new account making the best team possible in 24 hours. 
do let me know in the comment section down below any suggestions you do have. And by the way, talking about expensive teams and talking about how to make coins, if you do want to join the VIP Discord, the link will be down in the pinned comment section down below. And by the way, let me show you the profit we have made literally for the past month in my VIP Discord. And if you do want to join the VIP Discord, the link will be down in the pinned comments down below. FC25 is literally around the corner, boys. The first week, the first month of the game is so easy to make coins. I know you're tempted to spend money on fewer points, 12,000, 5,000, 2,000, etc. Trust me, guys, with just £10 a month, you learn how to trade, what cars to buy for the exact prices, and you can see in the background in the sell card channel, we tell you exactly when to sell your specific investment, when the card has officially gone up in price and obviously if i do show you the feedback channel people have joined us with absolutely no knowledge about how to make coins when to buy a card when to sell a card and you can see in the background people with different reviews they've enjoyed it how many coins they've made and obviously if they will be back in fc 25 the point of the vip discord is very simple if you don't have time to watch the videos you don't have time to trade and sell on the market and analyze all you have to do you join you turn your discord notifications on as soon as we make a post, you go to the market, you buy the card, and we tell you exactly when to sell that specific card in the sell card channel. That is my VIP Discord with just £10 a month. You don't have to waste any more money on FIFA points. You learn how to trade, exactly when to buy a card, when to sell a card, and obviously, Lucky Foot does give us some early, early leaks information about SPC requirements, maybe EVOs, etc. So you do get benefits of being in my VIP Discord. The link will be down in the pinned comments down below. If you do want to prepare for FC25, this is the best Discord for you. And guys, that will be the end of the video. Any questions, comment section down below. Drop a like, please subscribe, and I will see you boys tomorrow with obviously another investment and hopefully on Friday with a brand new promo.